Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about One Piece's new episode, which is on which is on 1056. This episode right here was actually pretty cool. I must be a little crazy right now because I feel like the pacing should slow down a bit. Maybe because I don't want it to catch up to the manga too quick. I mean, like, um, those of you guys who are manga readers, etc. You know what I'm talking about, right? So, if anything else, like, um, let's continue on. Um, we have to it that, um, that, um, that our friends or buddy, um, Yamato is on the way to go to the weapons room because it has explosives there. As for everyone else, you know, they're doing their own thing or something. But currently, right now, we see Momonosuke trying to make a lot of flame clouds here and there to try to, like, um, whatchamacallit, um, get things in check and trying to stop Kaido's, like, um, advancement with Onigashima to the Wano capital because, you know, that thing's gonna blow up to hell. <laughs> And we have to it that, um, Kid therefore try to use his powers against Big Mom, but it's pretty much useless. Even Log tries to make the attack, but is, it is like, um, it doesn't work. And we have to it, Kid ask Law if he has awakened his Devil Fruit yet, which Law says, I did. However, it's not, it's not a good thing to use it as a, as of right now, because this will not go so well if the stamina is out of, like, um, Whatchamacallit, um, if I run out of stamina. <laughs> Kid therefore asks Law, hey, I need you to help me to take down Big Mom and use her Awakened Devil Root to take care of her, dude. Like, right now. And we have to eventually, like, um, whatchamacallit, um, that, um, Kid and Law decides to work together, and there was a scene with Orochi here and there laughing like a maniac or a psycho psychopath because he's having the freaking flame of Kazimbo, whatever that freaking flaming drawing art is, doing rampaging and to destroy everything, you know? As for Fukurujo, he continues his fight against Raizo whatsoever, etc. Pretty short scene. But we also see to it eventually that, um... That kid tries to use Punk Gibson or Punk Rotten, his giant mechanic whatsoever, to fight against Big Mom, you know? However, we had to, a Big Mom decides to, like, um, respond by using Ikoku, or Ikoku Sovereignty, depending on how you wanna, wanna call it, you know? And this is where kid gets blasted out of there, etc. And we had to it that, um, Law decides to use his awakened ability called Kroom, you know? Anesthesia goes into Big Mom, stabs her, and makes a powerful shockwave attack into Big Mom's body, you know? Which apparently is very deadly. I mean, like, um, lately throughout the series, you know, not anyone actually has a powerful defense against anyone who attacks from the inside of the body, you know? That includes, like, um, Kaido and Big Mom, but they don't usually go down that easily whatsoever, depending on the situation. But anyways, continuing on, um... Law ends up making the attack of Shock Willy of Kroom and Anesthesia onto Big Mom, causing a big amount of damage, you know? Causing her to bleed and bre breathe out smoke. But we had to, a kid shows up and uses his, uses his Awakened Devil Fruit ability and decides to make Big Mom magnetic and uses a sign, you know? And he ends up putting a sign onto Big Mom and has all kinds of metals attracted to freaking like a Big Mom and attacks her, especially Big rail beams whatsoever, those giant like metal bars that keeps the uh, building together, you get the idea. Those things end up having to like, um, go after Big Mom and end up doing a lot of ton of damage to her, you know? That kind of thing. However, we had to, everyone is actually shocked about this, and Law asks Kid, like, how long does your Awakened Devil Fruit last? And Kid's like, why should I tell you my secrets, huh? Don't go gang to like, um, Oh, get too comfortable just because we're working together, you know? That kind of thing. But we had to, Big Mom survives the attack and gets very, very angry. This shows that, like, um... This shows pretty much that they actually are cornering her. And that, like, um, Law asks Kid, well, aren't you being cornered right now whatsoever? And we have to it that Kid's like, what did you say? And we have to it, Law's like, look, if you are able to freaking, like, um do the damage, why didn't you do it all in one go? I'm thinking my mind, law, it's not that simple, man. And, <laughs> and of course, here and there. Pretty much, law is freaking, 
freaking mad at Kid for using his Awakened Devil Fruit ability, but he, it did not defeat her in one shot. But they have to understand this is not just simple task to taking down a, a, a Emperor, you know? And we have to it that Big Mom decides to take the lives of many of Kaido's subordinates by asking life or red beam soup and all of them end up losing their life whatsoever and we have to it that big mom will later on use those lifespans to like um that she's stolen from the kaido subordinates and give life to like um her her special homies and many other homies so they don't attack her you know etc therefore big mom decides to use one year of her own lifespan to make herself stronger you know and ends up getting bigger more angry and much more deadly and menacing, you know, which is very scary, all things considered. But we have to it that, um, that, what you may call it, um, that, um, Yamato herself ends up going to a door and ends up getting ready to, like, um, blast it open eventually, you know? Well, she did blast it open to go to the, to the explosives room and tries to hurry up. We have to it, Big Mom says, you know, I haven't felt this much pain since decades ago and this is very fun and exciting i recognize you both as law and trafalgar law and captain k that you guys are really trying to tear me down from my throne you know especially straw hat luffy himself but you know it's not gonna be that simple so i hope you're ready to die you know and we had two big mom with her special homies like napoleon freaking like prometheus and hera getting ready to go into action against like um useless kid and Trafalgar Law, you know? So, so Law, on the other hand, wants to study history unless they take down a freaking Yonko, you know? And Kid's like, I'm gonna freaking, as long as you live, don't hold back from exerting all your strength. And even if I die, I'm gonna take you down from that position. And Big Mom says, go ahead, come and take it if you can. My place as an emperor of the sea. And the episode ends off there. Preview of next episode is going to be exciting, etc. So I'm looking forward to that one. So hopefully Toei does it right, you know. Despite, you know, a lot of people complaining about the pacing here and there. I, I for myself, am enjoying it. Because, one, we're getting a little too close to the manga, in my opinion. But it doesn't matter anyway. And, yeah, I don't mind taking a long break here and there, depending on the situation. But I know, like, sometime this month of April, it's going to come up very soon. Where Japan has their big long break, you know. So, yeah. Anyways, looking forward to like um, next episode. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. So I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Right? Peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.